It's crazy times in American politics. It really is. Um, the insanity is everywhere, but uh, I will continue to try to make sense for all of us of uh, the mayhem that is going on all around us. So, uh, of course, the latest is uh, that uh, Joe Biden has stepped aside, has withdrawn from uh, his re-election campaign, uh, and then um, he did so in a letter on Twitter and hasn't been seen since. Um, and uh, about 15 minutes later, he endorsed Kamala Harris, who now has basically received endorsement from pretty much everybody except except Obama. So Obama's the only holdout. Everybody else seems to have endorsed, including a number of people who you would think would also be vying for the Democratic nomination uh, for president, like uh, Newsom in California, endorsed uh, and uh, uh, what's her name in Michigan, uh, the governor of Michigan endorsed her. And uh, yeah, pretty much, uh, pretty much everybody uh, has, uh, has endorsed her except Obama. I'm not sure what Obama's waiting for. Um, uh, you know, maybe, maybe there's some surprise coming. But even Manchin, who some thought might challenge her for the Democratic nomination, uh, has uh, uh, basically said he would not. I don't know that he's endorsed her, but he, he basically uh, said he would not run. Uh, and uh, Pelosi and Obama, that's it, right? Pelosi and Obama have not endorsed a Kamala, but everybody else Everybody else has endorsed her. Uh, speculation now is primarily around who she will pick as a vice president, uh, presidential candidate. Uh, and uh, so that'll be interesting. Um, I don't know if Schumer, I'm not sure if Schumer has. I haven't seen if Schumer has. Maybe Schumer hasn't either. So, uh, you know, they, they, and, and Jeffries. So they're, they're st they maybe they're still waiting to see uh, if they can do something symbolic at the convention to suggest that uh, there was some kind of uh, democratic electoral process going on uh, before uh, uh, she's just taken. All right, so Adam says Pelosi did endorse her uh, this morning. I thought so. So anyway, so, I mean, it, 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 it's just, I mean, it's meaningless now. There's nobody, there's nobody out there, and I'm not sure who would run, that is, who is available to run of all the leading candidates uh, that were raised as options, and, and I'm not an expert on, on uh, uh, the politics of the Democratic Party. So uh, of all the people who were uh, talked about as uh, potentials to replace Biden, I think everybody who was a potential has basically endorsed Kamala. So I think she's it. Oh, man. Excuse me. Uh, so I think she's it. Uh, and... Um, uh, and and uh, now, as I said, the, the big question is who who is going to uh, step in and uh, be the VP? It, it is. Uh, it, we'll talk about that in a second. It is interesting. Uh, lots of conspiracy theories out there. Of course, of course, there are lots of conspiracy theories out there. Um, uh, mainly centered around. Well, Biden didn't even know that he resigned. Uh, the letter was issued by his people, uh, and then it's a fait accompli, so he has no choice. Um, uh, you know, uh, nobody's seen Biden for two days. What's up with that? Maybe, you know, is, is he, did he really not resign, and they're keeping him under wraps, or everything else. So who knows? Uh, you know, who knows what's, you know, all the, uh, what, what's happened inside. But if you remember... I'll just point this out for all of you in, inspired by conspiracy theories. If you remember last week, I predicted that Biden would quit on Sunday. And what day did he quit on? Yeah, on Sunday. So um, maybe I'm behind it all. I think I'm behind it all. I think I think it's, it's all driven by... Um, uh, my my ultimate uh, control over uh, the politics of the Democratic and Republican Party. I picked Vance. I, I told you it was going to be Vance. I picked Kamala. Uh, I, I fired Biden. It really is one big um, uh, conspiracy theory 
run by this particular elder of Zion, no other elders of Zion, just one elder of Zion. Uh, I mean, I don't need other elders of Zion uh, to help me uh, to help me uh, run it. Anyway, Elon Musk knows exactly who's behind this. Uh, Elon Musk tweeted today, uh, 721, so this tweet yesterday. He tweeted yesterday, uh, he tweeted, I'd just like to thank Alexander Soros for not keeping everyone in suspense about who the next puppet would be. <laughs> so Elon Musk not shying away from participating in the uh, uh, constant, ever-growing, uh, uh, continuous, I don't know, what do you want to call it, BS, conspiracy theory stuff that is happening Um and uh, so that uh, that is uh, that is also going on. Elon Musk spreading spreading conspiracy theories about about George Soros uh, controlling the Democratic Party. I mean, it is true that George Soros is a huge donor to the Democratic Party. It is true that George Soros has a huge amount of impact within the Democratic Party, uh, just like um, uh, big donors to the Republican Party have huge impact. Uh, but I don't think I don't think the whoever. It is that the Democrats nominate as a puppet of, of, of George Soros any more than, again, whoever the Republicans nominate, Trump in this case, is a puppet of... I think Trump's only a puppet of his own emotions. Of course, they're all my puppets. My puppets. All right.